Hi all, welcome to Node.js application deployment, using the Salt Stack demo. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the deployment of Node.js application, using the Salt Stack configuration management tool on three different operating systems, CentOS Red Hat based, Ubuntu Debian based, and Windows. The complete process orchestrated through Jenkins pipeline. The tools which are used in this Node.js application deployment is GitLab is used for source code management. Jenkins is used for continuous integration. SonarCube is used for code quality checks. JFrog Artifactory is used to manage the binaries. SaltStack is used for configuration management and continuous deployment. Terraform is used to provision the servers on OpenStack. OpenStack as the private cloud. Let's explore the workflow of Node.js application deployment, stage by stage. In the first stage, we will provision three virtual machines in OpenStack, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Windows using Terraform. A Jenkins job is written to pull the Terraform code from GitLab, and execute it in OpenStack to provision three virtual machines. In the next stage, Jenkins job will pull the Node.js application source code from GitLab. A webhook is configured on GitLab so that the ongoing deployment job will trigger automatically, when a commit happens particular branch. In the next stage, the Node.js application source code will be built, either in Jenkins master, or slave, based on a target operating system. In case, any failure in the build step, pipeline will be aborted, the deployment package archived on Jenkins for future use. In this next stage, Jenkins uses the SonarCube scanner plugin for continuous inspection of code quality to perform automatic reviews for static analysis of code to detect bugs code smells, and security vulnerabilities. SonarCube offers report duplicated code, coding standards, unit tests, code coverage, code complexity, comments, bugs, etc. When the code doesn't meet the quality standards, an alert mail trigger to the development team, and the pipeline will be aborted. Once the code meets the quality standards, the archived Node.js application package will be pushed to JFrog Artifactory repository. In the final stage, Jenkins will execute salt stack state to all the minions, which will perform the below tasks to target servers. Download and install Node.js. Download, install, and configure Apache. Download, install, and configure MySQL server. Pull the Node.js package from JFrog and unzip the package and start the Apache server. Finally, the Node.js application will deploy all three servers. Let's see the pipeline in action. First, we will create the three servers. We have the separate Jenkins job to create these servers. This job will create three servers in OpenStack. Let's trigger the job. The job has been completed now. Let us check the OpenStack. Here we can see all three servers created, CentOS, Ubuntu, and Windows. This is a Node.js application web page of CentOS server, this is a Node.js application web page of Ubuntu server, and this is a Node.js application web page of Windows server. So, all three servers web pages don't contain any content, because the code deployment has not been triggered yet. Now, let us see, how the continuous integration, and continuous deployment of the Node.js application happen, via the Jenkins pipeline. Let's trigger the Jenkins pipeline for Node.js application deployment. In the first stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is preparing servers for salt stack execution. Adding all the servers as minions to the salt stack server. In the next stage, the Jenkins pipeline job is pulling the source code from GitLab. In the next stage, it will build the Node.js source code, using the Maven plugin, either in Jenkins master, or slave, based on the target operating system. In the next stage, Sonar cube analysis is getting executed and validated against the quality gate. As the quality gate is passed, the Jenkins pipeline is pushing the build binary package to JFrog Artifactory. In the final stage of deployment, the Jenkins pipeline job will execute salt stack state on all three minions. The salt stack code is already added to the salt stack server from GitLab. It will install Node.js, install, and configure Apache and MySQL server and pull the package from JFrog, and deploy the package to the minions. Now the deployment has been completed. Let us refresh the web pages, to see whether the Node.js application is deployed, and hosted on all the servers. For the CentOS server, 
Here we can see the updated web page for the Node.js application. For the Ubuntu server, this is the updated web page for the Node.js application. And finally, for the Windows server, this is the updated web page for the Node.js application. Let us see the continuous integration and continuous deployment in action. As a developer, let me make a visible change in a source code via GitLab UI and see how the changes are deployed automatically in the servers. Here, I am changing the heading in the application, which should be visible in the application after the automated deployment. Let's commit the changes. Let's see Jenkins. Here the pipeline job is triggered automatically, via the webhook as the administrator. The pipeline is getting completed. Let us refresh the web pages. For the CentOS server, here we can see the updated web page. For the Ubuntu server, this is the updated web page. And finally, for the Windows server, this is the updated web page. This is the complete workflow of Node.js application deployment, using SaltStack on the various OS platform. For more information, please browse www.zippyops.com. Please follow us on social media, links are available in the description. Like, share, and comment on this video. Subscribe to our channel, for the latest happenings on DevOps. Thank you for watching this video.